Adobe community expert, Gary Dufner here. On the iPad, we're gonna open up the Photoshop app, click on your files, and then click on the Barbie PSD. Come over to the plus sign, click on the plus sign, and then click on adjustment layer, and then click on hue and saturation. I'm gonna take the hue to the left so I can see the hair turning blue and the hands and the flesh turning blue too. In the layer panel up here, we need to click on the white square, which is the layer mask. Then click on the brush, hold the brush icon down to see the brush options. First, I'm gonna start with a hard round brush. Use my fingers to zoom in to the area that I wanna brush on. This is the brush size right here. If we click on it, we can drag the little slider up to make it bigger and then make sure we have black in the foreground color on the top. Using the black brush on that layer mask is going to conceal the hue and saturation layer. You wanna use a big brush for the big areas. First, use your fingers to move the screen to get to a different area of the screen. Once you do the area up here, move down to the hand. If you hold the number down, for the brush, you can write in a number for the brush size. Let's do a 10. 10 is really good for the hand down here. We can be more detailed with the 10. If you go too far outside of the area, you can move the white to the foreground and you can paint white on that area to fix the area. And then move the black color to the top so we can do the other hand. We want to get this hair here between the arm and the torso. With that number 10 brush, we can get pretty detailed. We can detail up here now with the smaller brush. Now the next part is, click on the brush again, we'll get a soft round pressure, opacity and flow, and we'll click on the number 10, and let's make it 20. And this works with the pressure of the pen. You wanna use that soft brush so it's not such a harsh edge, and we wanna make it a soft edge for the hair. Let's do it on this side too. down here. We hit a little bit of this area right here where the hair is. Now it's been successfully masked, we can change this to any color now. If the client wants us to do a dark purple, we can. If the client wants us to do a green, we can. So now the PSD can be editable. 